Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this quick tip tutorial video for Adobe Photoshop, I'm gonna show you how you can remove some menus from the very top menu bar and also highlight some menus that you use a lot. As you can see here, we have a lot of options in each menu here. And if you go to any of this menu on the very top, there is hundreds of different settings and different options you can go through. So if you don't need all those options available all the time, they might be distracting you from working faster. And let's say, for example, we'll go to this file menu here. There is browsing bridge there is open as a smart object honestly i'm not using those options that often and actually i'm not using them pretty much at all so when i open this file menu here i always get to see them and sometimes it's just distracting you have to go through all these settings and you might even click in the wrong spot today i will show you how you can remove some of these settings and some of these options in each of the menu and also if you do use some settings and some options way more often you might want to highlight them so that it catches your eye as soon as you go to some menu and you'll be like well this is it this is where i want to go and it might not seem like it's gonna help a lot but actually if you look at something highlight it it will just catch your eye a lot quicker and overall it's gonna save you some time and before we start if you're new to the channel subscribe click notification bell so you don't miss new videos and if you find this video helpful and interesting also support it with your like if you have comments questions leave them in the comment section below okay let's get started okay so how is it done well for that you just gotta go to this window menu here go to the workspaces go to the keyboard shortcuts and menu and then you gotta go to the menu here and right where it says here menu 4 you can choose between application menus or you can choose the panel menus so you can do it in both places i'm gonna show you example how you can do it on application menu which is a very top one right here your file edit image layer and so on let's go ahead and click application menu Let's go to the file here. And as you can see, there is browse in bridge option here. And then right beside it, there is an eye, which is a visibility. So if you click on it, this icon will disappear. And this will make sure it's not gonna appear in that menu next time you open file. And we can do the same thing with open a smart object. I don't need that one. For example, like a save as is a very common function. So what we can do, we can actually highlight it. So it will be a lot easier to catch it as soon as we open that file. If you're using a shortcut, of course you can use a shortcut, but if you wanna go through the application menu, this will help it a lot to catch it quicker. To highlight it, you just gotta choose this one right here, which option you wanna highlight. And then right where it says color, you just gotta click on it. And let's say we put a green one over there. Okay, so this is it, let's go press okay. And now if we go to the file menu here, as you can see, there is no open and bridge. There is no open a smart object. And the save as is highlighted, which is great because now you can, as soon as you open, for example, you're working on this picture, you're doing some, for example, you're doing some modifications to this picture and then you need to save it. You go to file and there we go. It automatically catches your eye so you can do it much quicker. And as you can see on the very bottom, you got one more option, show all menu items. If you click on it, it will show you all the hidden ones. It's actually gonna show you all the items in this file menu but it's only going to show it to you one time so if you go next time it will not show it again so you got to click on it again so this is a quick way how you can actually restore the default look you don't have to go back to the shortcut and menus i think it's a wonderful feature so i hope you guys like it as well if you do let me know in the comment section below what you think about this feature and let me know also what options do you use and what options you don't use at all and if you're new to the channel as always please subscribe Click the notification bell so you don't miss other helpful videos that can be coming out soon. If you find this video helpful, give it a like, support it. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.